I just want to show um, all the latest tutorials that I uploaded on Patreon. So this is the Black Eagle that I painted and it's on Patreon with the line drawing, the supplies list, all the colors that I used and the reference photo. Same with this apple painting that I painted. That was Mr. T talking to me, he wants to play. Um, this was the first apple, the second apple that I painted. I made a tutorial of this one and it's uploaded on Patreon. And I also uploaded this fuchsia painting. This is about five uh, parts of the tutorial. It was quite a long painting. I share everything uh, as well, <clears throat> sorry, including the line drawing, the reference photo, the supplies list with all the colors that I use and also some different colors that you might be able to use for this um, painting. This was one of my first ones and you will see that I've upgraded some of my camera equipment and um, my paintings are a lot brighter and lighter now when you paint. I have a lot more detail. I share how I do my brush strokes. As a, a beginner in watercolor, you want to see exactly how the brush strokes are added or painted on a piece of paper because it's not gonna help you if you just see the top of the hand. You want to see the sides where and how it was um, painted. That's what I battled with uh, when I started to paint in watercolor and I share how I add all of these little finer details on my paintings. I am going to make a tutorial with this onion that I painted in watercolor. So I find that by painting fruit and veggies you learn a lot about uh, all the tonal values of a, of a, a painting so sometimes it will just look very flat but as you can see my paintings look very 3d it looks very realistic it looks like a real onion you can just pick it up this was my last tutorial that I uploaded it's now on patreon and I've done a very fast time-lapse little video for you on YouTube you can also follow me on Patreon. I don't think you have to be a member if you want to just follow up on some of the news that I share. I don't think you have to be. I'll have to check. But um, I do share quite a few tips uh, on paper and supplies that I love on Patreon. So you should hop over there and just see what I have on Patreon. Also my orange painting that I did on Patreon was one of my uh, I would say the third one I think that I painted again my equipment wasn't as good as it is now so I will try and upload another a tutorial with a little bit better my lighting is different and everything is just different the way I did this when I painted this I know how to you know hold the camera now you can follow along on that one it is perfectly fine um, it's just that the light was not as bright as it is now um, because of the camera equipment um, then I want to share some of the ones that I haven't uploaded yet because these will be part of uh, we'll have a vote on patreon with all my patrons and they will decide what they want to paint next. So these are some of the roses uh, that I've painted. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll notice that I paint quite a lot of roses because I love painting roses. Um, these are just some of the things that we might paint in the future. Not might, we'll definitely will paint it for the future. I've painted all of these shells. They are all painted in watercolor. And these will form part of another tutorial where we will paint, for instance, one shell at a time. And it will be, um, you know, you can put them all on one sheet or we can paint them all on one big sheet of watercolor paper. I love painting these little tiny little sea urchins, which will also be part of one of our tutorials for the future. And then, oh, just a quick thing while I'm chatting to you about all the paintings. 
These little plastic sleeves, if you can find them, they are assets free and you can protect all your paintings by putting them in, in these little sleeves. Please make sure your paintings are bone dry before you pack them away because these will protect them from all the mold and I don't know, maybe you live in an area where there's a lot of mildew, uh, humid, uh, you know, maybe fish moths. These are these little sleeves are absolutely amazing. I post my paintings. If I sell any of them, I post them uh, in these sleeves. Then this is also one of the roses that we will be painting. It's a watercolor rose, and it, is, it was painted on very thick Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper. I want to teach you how to do all the tonal values and how to create a 3D watercolor painting. Also, I have these little garlics that I painted in watercolor, also not on Patreon. It might be a class in the future. I love painting this. I love all the colors and um, this particular garlic had beautiful um, shades of pink and red and lizard and crimson i love all the colors on this garlic and the skin of the garlic and this will be um, also a tutorial in the future these were all little practice little uh, videos and um, paintings that i did and you know um, again it, it teaches you a lot on how to uh, tonal value because if you think about it this was a flat sheet of white paper and you can create all of this by yourself with watercolor paint this is also a tutorial on patreon it is a fuchsia flower bud that i painted i wanted to add more flowers on this side yeah but i decided i wasn't very happy with the paper this paper is not my favorite paper so I decided just to do it all on that other sheet that I had um, when I painted. Let me just see where's the fuchsias. I painted this on um, Archer's watercolor paper, which I prefer. Um, I will discuss the paper in another video. Also, a fuchsia that I painted, and it was more like a practice little painting before I painted all of this on this sheet of watercolor paper. This is one of the roses that I paint and that we might paint in the future in watercolor. So um, these are all beautiful roses that I painted and again these that's why I say if you want to start uh, in watercolor you should paint vegetables and fruit first and then focus on these at a later stage because painting vegetables and fruit will teach you all about the tonal values and how to paint all of these, this detail in this rose. And then this will also be a tutorial. Um, I do have the videos, I just need some time to focus on them because I have to put it all together and I do all the videos, editing all by myself, so it's quite a lot of work. But um, yes, we will focus on all of these paintings. So um, I hope you will join me on Patreon and if you like the way I paint and by becoming a patron you help me to buy better equipment and also you help me to uh, to be able to create all of these beautiful videos that i can share on patreon